Hi and welcome to another telehealth medicine information video. I'm Garvin and this video is on sandostatin. So what is sandostatin used for? Sandostatin is given to control symptoms such as diarrhea or flushing in patients with tumours such as carcinoid pancreatic and islet cell tumours <coughs> Excuse me, and gastrin gastrinimo or vasoactive intestinal peptide screening tumours. It is also used to treat acromegaly when the body produces too much growth hormone and the hands, feet, face or head grow too large. So how is sandostatin given? Sandostatin has two formulations. For purposes of clarity, the trade names will be used. So Sandostatin is a short acting version and Sandostatin LAR is a long acting version. Sandostatin is given by subcutaneous injection, the layer of tissue between the skin and the muscle. It may be necessary to take a shot several times a day. The injection sites should be rotated regularly. Sandostatin may also be given intravenously. So sandostatin LAR is given by intramuscular injection into the muscle under a doctor's supervision. Sandostatin is generally given once every four weeks. The preferred site for injection is the hip because it is painful given into the arm. Sandostatin LAR should not be given by subcutaneous or IV routes. If short-acting sandostatin is to be replaced by the long-acting sandostatin LAR, the short-acting sandostatin should be continued for at least two weeks to maintain therapeutic doses in patients with carcinoid tumours or VIPomas. Short-acting sandostatin may also be used to control breakthrough symptoms in carcinoid. The amount of sandostatin that you will receive depends on many factors including your height, weight and your general health or other health problems and the type of cancer or condition being treated. Your doctor will determine your dose and schedule. So the main side effects you can expect. So the important thing to remember about the side effects of sandostatin. So the side effects are almost always reversible and will go away after treatment is complete. So the side effects of sandostatin and their severity depend on how much of the drug is given and which preparation, so the sandostatin or the sandostatin long acting. In other words, high doses may produce more severe side effects. So the following side effects are common for patients taking sandostatin. Gallstones, and are common with long-term use. Also nausea and pain at the injection site. This is especially so for the sandostatin LAR. Now there's less common side effects of patients receiving sandostatin. And they include abdominal pain, flatulence, constipation, vomiting, and diarrhea. Also, upper respiratory infection, fatigue, flu-like syndrome, dizziness and headache. So if you have diabetes, your blood sugar levels may be affected. So discuss this with your healthcare provider and how you will monitor your blood sugar readings at home. You need to do more monitoring at home. You may experience a slower heart rate also so when to contact your doctor or healthcare provider. Contact your healthcare provider within 24 hours of noticing any of the following. So nausea that interferes with the ability to eat and unrelieved with prescription medicine. Also vomiting. So vomiting more than four to five times in a 24 hour period. And diarrhea, four to six episodes in a 24 hour period and constipation, which is unrelieved by laxatives. Always tell your doctor 
if you experience any unusual symptoms to send a statin. So some precautions to take. So before starting send a statin treatment, make sure you tell your doctor about any other medicines you're taking. And this includes prescription medicines, over-the-counter medicines and herbal remedies. Do not take aspirin or products containing aspirin unless your doctor specifically permits this. Tell your doctor or pharmacist if you are pregnant or may be pregnant prior to starting this treatment. So pregnancy, so there's no evidence of risk to humans based on negative animal studies. Use in pregnancy only if clearly needed. And for both men and women, do not conceive a child or get pregnant while taking sandostatin. Barrier methods of contraception, such as condoms, are recommended. Again, discuss this, this with your doctor when you want to become pregnant. So this should be done after therapy. Do not breastfeed also while taking sandostatin. So some self-care tips you can follow. Sandostatin is given to treat severe diarrhea. However, you may become constipated. If you do not move your bowels, if you don't have a bowel movement after two days, notify your doctor. You may experience drowsiness or dizziness. So avoid driving or engaging in tasks that require mental alertness until your response to the drug is known. For flu-like symptoms, keep warm with blankets and drink plenty of fluids. There are medicines that can help reduce the discomfort caused by chills. So paracetamol or uh, ibuprofen may help relieve discomfort from fever, headache and general ache and pain. However, be sure to talk to your doctor before taking it. Drink at least 2 to 3 litres of fluid every 24 hours unless you are instructed otherwise. So to reduce nausea, you can take anti-nausea medicine prescribed by a doctor and eat small, frequent meals. You should avoid sun exposure. So use the sunblock 15 or higher and wear protective clothing. In general, drinking alcohol should be kept to a minimum or avoided altogether. So you can discuss this with your doctor. Get plenty of rest and maintain good general nutrition. If you experience symptoms or side effects, be sure to discuss them with your doctor or pharmacist. So your doctor can prescribe medicines or others give other suggestions that are effective in managing the symptoms. So monitoring and testing the sandostatin. Your doctor will want to do blood tests to see how you, well you are responding to sandostatin. So first of all, keep all your appointments for tests. Your doctor may also monitor other types of blood work to see if the medicine is affecting other parts of your body. So how does the sandostatin work? Sandostatin is similar to a natural chemical called somastatin. Somastatin is produced by the body by the hypothalamus and one of its functions is to switch off the secretion of growth hormone by the pituitary gland. Somastatin also decreases splanchic blood flow and inhibits the release of serotonin, gastrin, vasoactive intestinal peptide and pancreatic polypeptide. These actions are what helps control the symptoms of flushing and diarrhea in carcinoid tumours and vasoactive intestinal peptide secreting adenomas. So that brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below or contact us through our website, mytelehealth.info or call into Lynch's Pharmacy, Douglas Cork. You can ring 021 436 6923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.